happy munchy bodies because we all eat. That's the most basic thing that humans do. Have you some spare time? Have you always wanted to make a film? Visit PATV and we can help make your dreams come true. It's pretty easy. Come on in and tell a staff member that you'd like to check out a camera. Hi there, how can I help you? Hi there, I'd like to check out a camera. Have you taken our guidelines workshop? I sure have. Which kind of camera would you like to check out? I like an HD camera. I want a nice, sharp image. Oh, actually, all of our HD cameras are checked out right now. But it looks like someone's supposed to bring theirs back in about an hour. If you wanted to wait, you'd go up to Uptown Bills upstairs and grab some coffee. Okay, I could go for some coffee. Thanks. Uptown Bills is just upstairs. Take a nice walk outside and around the corner. Hi, I'm waiting for a camera downstairs, so I figured I'd come get some coffee while I wait. Mmm, it sure smells good. I wonder how long my shoot will take today. I need to remember to do laundry tonight. Oh, eggs! That's what I forgot to get at the grocery store. I need to put that on my list. Mm hmm. Oh wow, look at the time. It's time to get the camera. I wonder if I should check out a tripod, or maybe a microphone. Nah, I'd rather film gorilla style. Hi there, is the camera back? It sure is. And do you know when you'd like to bring this back? Never. <laughs> Just kidding. How about later tonight? Say seven? Uh, we're actually only open from 9 to 6 on Saturdays, but we're open 12 to 11 Monday through Thursday. Okay, cool. I'll have it back by 6 then. Thanks. Oh, uh, could I have you sign this sheet quick? It would be my biggest honor to put my John Hancock on your piece of paper. <laughs> Thanks. See you around 6. Thanks a lot. As PATV continues to expand, so does the quality of equipment available for checkout. From new and modern HD cameras, to softbox lights, from shotgun mics, to wireless mics, PATV is well stocked with everything you need for action. Panasonic's revolutionary HG HPX170 is a highly versatile HD camcorder, notable for its many features and for recording professional high definition images. There are slots available for two P2 memory cards, allowing for a more efficient workflow. When it comes to production, the sky's the limit. PATV offers workshops that teaches you how to get the most out of using these cameras. The Sennheiser Evolution G3 wireless microphones are another new addition to PATV. Offering good quality sound, the ENG system comes with a body pack, receiver, and plug-on transmitter, offering a great amount of flexibility for portable recording. But if wireless mics aren't your thing, that's okay, because PATV has other options available for checkout, like the Asden shotgun mic. It comes with various windscreens, allowing for high quality performances, outdoors or in. PATV also has a new Lowell LC55X softbox, which are very convenient compared to most softboxes, because both the light and the softbox are combined. It goes easily from carry bag to stand, 
Compact, lightweight, and self-contained, these lights are a key element for professional-looking images. Because the latest equipment at PATV is always keeping it classy. Don't worry, Jason, you can edit out anything that you don't want to see. So it's all good. My name is Jason Smith, and this is the first of many producer spotlights here for Access Update. And I'm very excited to be the first person interviewed and want to talk to you a little bit about the video you're about to watch. It's with Sayuri Sasaki Heeman. She's a local artist, crafter, and all around great person. Um, I met her while I was filming the What a Load of Craft Fair. And I had finished all my interviews for the craft fair. I was just there filming the various crafters and all the neat stuff that they had. And I ran across Sayuri and introduced myself and asked if I could film her goodness that she had there. The tofu monster, the fabric jellies, all of that. And she was more than happy to let me film her stuff. But I couldn't help but notice the presence that Sayuri had. And she was so adorable and just so good on camera that I had to ask her to uh, be my fourth interview for the What A Little Craft Fair video and she accepted and um, that's going to be the footage that you're about to watch. I could only put about two minutes of footage in the craft fair video and I had at least 10 minutes of usable footage and I cut that down to the next five minutes that you're about to see and um, was just really happy that I had an outlet for that footage. This is a really simple interview to shoot. I shot it in about 25 to 30 minutes. Um, just sat Sayuri down, had her talk about her art, and filmed the things that she had in her studio. Um, it's a very good example of the tools that public access has to use and how easy it is for you to make a, a quality video like this. So um, when you're watching this, just keep in mind how simple it was to make. I, just went back and forth from camera to camera and uh, took some music from a musician that I know, Joel Vanderheiden from Coke Plant No, and he was kind enough to let me use his fantastic jazz music that just happened to fit so well with uh, this interview. And um, I think that's it's a great example of just, just asking the right questions and uh, having the drive to start and finish something and, you know, you can have what you're going for. And, what I was going for was this interview here with Sayuri, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Whenever you are ready. My name is Sayuri from Sayuri's World. I create everything that Sayuri's world has in its like I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. But it doesn't make sense. I moved to Iowa City last year and I've been loving it here. And this guy is called Tofu Monster and he has edamame arms. Um, but the baby ones have no arms. Once they, once they are born, they uh, gradually develop their edamame arms after having lots of vegetables to eat. So tofu monsters are a little bit mischievous and they also sometimes could get evil if you're not on their right side. So be careful. <laughs> Tofu monsters are uh, actually, um, they have been developing in my head and also I kind of debuted them when I lived in Portland, Oregon. My fabric jellies are actually a part of my ongoing urban aquarium project 
and it's a project that I place um, jellyfish aquariums in places that people don't expect and it's like a kind of like an experiment to see how the jellyfish interact with the outside world and then the outside world interact with the jellyfish. So I've been doing the jellies for like three years but this I this is the latest form of the jellies but it's been through a lot of um, transformations and you can see as you can see on my um, I don't know my prototypes I guess um, it's been through a lot but I really love uh, jellyfish and the way it looks and the way it moves around in the water and how magical it is. These jellyfish are, I use several different techniques but these are all made out of um, a specific organza with different colors and the tentacles, the long tentacles are made with I first I scrunch them up and then I tie them all bundled up and then I put them in the briskly boiling water and then I put them in boiling boiling water for like maybe 20 or 25 minutes depending on uh, what it looks like and then I take them out of the boiling water and then I put them quickly into cold water and so it kind of shocks the fabric and then it like um, it retains its crinkle and so and then I cut the um, tentacles into like eight and then this fill of the uh, jellyfish is made with like I, I melt the edges of the organza so it kind of warps around like that and that's how the jellies are made. I have seven kinds of jellyfish that I made and all of these jellyfish have its own stories that go with it and so each jelly would have for example this sky jelly would have this tool and this tool and this organza and then my other Midsummer Night's Dream also known as Dreamia has this organza and this um, metallic fabric and this organza and then my electric moss jelly has this fabric and this fabric and then my Portland Rain has this fabric and this fabric and this fabric and the list goes on
in life. If we're lucky, we'll find a community that shares our passion. But who decides where passion ends and obsession begins? Last time we met, you were telling me about a recurring dream you've been having. Let's start there. Tell me about that. Okay. Uh, I was in a house. Uh, not mine, somebody else's. At first, everything looked normal. Well, there were these kind of cats just kind of hanging out, you know? There was nobody home, not a soul. It was just me and these cats. I was in some kind of cat world. And then the big cat, clearly the leader of the pack, started talking to me like a human. I thought I was going crazy. Yeah, these, these lights were flashing, and I think I heard people clapping. I was on some kind of a game show. My opponent was this cool cat named Tom. He played guitar better than any cat I've ever seen. How often do you have this dream? Every night. Sometimes more than once a night. And I still haven't won the game show. Do you know what it's like to lose to a cat? Has this dream affected your waking life? Yeah, I, now I'm afraid of my cat and I hear guitar music everywhere I go. I started going to the library on my lunch break to study. That cat's going down. I can see that this dream distresses you greatly. Based on what you've told me today, I now know what it means. But before I tell you, let's dig a little deeper. Close your eyes. Lay back, relax. We're going to 
let your mind go blank. We're going to try a little technique called word association. I will say a word, and you tell me the first word that comes to mind, okay? Soul. Seekers. Education. Exchange. Sports. Opinion. Okay, you're doing great. Talking. With. Public. Access. Access. Update. Channel. 18. Hmm, very interesting. Let's keep going. Lyle. Style. Andre. The chef. Hmm, I didn't know you spoke French. Okay, go ahead and open your eyes now. Yes, it's becoming clearer. Much clearer. You're doing very well. I want to access a different part of your psyche. This is called a Rorschach test. I will show you an image, and you tell me what you see. There's a group of men dancing on the stage. No, they're women. No, wait, they are men. A kitchen. There's a guy cooking in a funny-shaped kitchen. A woman's reading from a book? I think she's at Prairie Lights. There's every kind of art. Paintings, sculptures, dancers. It looks like uh, a bunch of guys are talking about sports. It's really hard to make out. It looks like night vision or something. Uh, people are looking for something. A woman with pigtails is dancing, but part of her body is missing. It's just gone. It's okay. We're done with that test. Take a deep breath and relax. I see that you're a deeply creative and insightful person with great taste. My concern is that your mind may be perhaps overstimulated by something I can't quite put my finger on. I believe the source of your symptoms may in fact be something in your life that at one time gave you great joy. And now, you are somehow being overexposed to that experience, which has resulted in a drastic increase in stress and anxiety. But now is not the time for worry. It is the time for solvency. I've developed a new experimental therapy I'm calling Crystal Gnosis. It's a unique blend of crystal therapy and hypnosis. I know this will work, but in order for that to happen, you must believe too. Will you try it? Yes. 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 No, it's not for me. Lay back and take a deep breath. Place the crystal on your head. Close your eyes. Clear your mind. Something in your life brings you great joy, perhaps too much joy. We are going to find it. What were you doing when you first experienced this joy? Taking a workshop. In this workshop, what were you learning? How to make a TV show. Did you make a TV show? Yes. On what channel did your show air? Channel 18. P-A-T-V. What is P-A-T-V? Public Access Television. You can make your own TV show and watch it on TV. Do you watch PATV often? Every day. When I'm at work. At the doctor's office. At my cousin's wedding. Do you feel you have too much PATV in your life? Yeah. Yes. yes. Wrong. Your problem does not emanate from too much PATV. PATV is what gives you joy and meaning in your life. Relax. Take a deep breath. Do you want to be relaxed and happy? Yes. yes. Then you need more PATV. No, you want more PATV. More, more PATV. You love PATV. I love PATV.
I love PATV. I love PATV. I love PATV. I love PATV. I love PATV. I love PATV. I love it. You are all bunkers. PATV's made me all bunkers. <laughs>